82% of all wealth generated in the past year went to the top 1%. O coletivo russo Pussy Riot disse hoje que o espetáculo a realizar-se na Casa da Música será um manifesto para o público ouvir a verdade sobre o que se passa no interior da Rússia, sobre a guerra na Ucrânia e a ditadura de Putin. This is a manifesto, this is not a documentary thing. Uh, this is our call for an action and uh, we did everything which we can do to make it international call for the action. It's a combination of different uh, stories, songs, methods, videos, uh, unexpected things, and all of this just for uh, do one simple thing. We believe that each person, each gesture of each person is very important. As Pussy Riot apelam ainda a que se atinge a oligarquia russa onde mais magoa, ou seja, na carteira. It's huge numbers how much money Putin's state have from oil and gas. And this is actually the main basis for their terrible things which are, they are doing. Now against Ukrainians, but before, for the last 10 years, and still against the whole Russians who are protesting. Depois de várias detenções e de ter fugido da Rússia, Maria Alequina denuncia a total falta de liberdade de expressão no seu país e a hipocrisia ocidental em apoiar a Ucrânia sem deixar de alimentar o regime de Putin. Russians do not have freedom of expression for last 10 years, uh, but there are some additions which I should mention uh, and they were created uh, since the beginning of the war. We have some new criminal articles which were added just recently. For example, it's illegal to call the war the war. It should be called a special military operation. And if you call it the war, that it's a criminal actually. And also it's criminal to post any photos from this war. For example, photos of killed, of murdered people from Bucha or crushed and bombs, uh, bombed uh, Uh, houses from Mariupol, it's all considered as a fake. And for posting at your social media fakes, you can receive from five to ten years in prison. In the European Parliament, they still talk about how to avoid sanctions and buy gas and uh, oil in rubles. Um, I don't think they, as Vasya said, I don't think they really still understand. They still prioritize, a lot of them still prioritize business over human lives. Uh, this is horrible and this is the hypocrisy we always talk about. As Pussy Riot sobem ao palco da sala principal da Casa da Música esta quarta-feira. O coletivo revelou ainda que parte das receitas da turnê servem para ajudar à construção de um novo hospital pediátrico em Kiev.